like to call to order a meeting of the Planning Commission. It's uh, Thursday, January 16th. It's 12 o'clock p.m. It's actually 12.08 p.m. And a disposition and establish the quorum. We have four people here, one missing. And um, secondly, we'll approach the minutes. January 2nd meeting minutes. It was a wonderful meeting, if I recall. Anybody have a motion? Or corrections or additions? I move to accept the minutes. That's right. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abs three and then one abstention. Now we have no cases and we have one communication. Title 21, a lot split. 34 East um, 4th Street, lot 645 and 36 East 4th Street, lot 646. Complicated. Okay, is there, are you going to speak on that, Paul? Uh, there's a memo attached, uh, dated January 7, 2020, written by our code director, David, David Riggs. Um, this is a lot in the plains. Uh, my understanding of the situation, I'm not sure if it's mentioned on this, but the, uh, the property owners, essentially, they are trying to correct an error. Uh, there, is a, um, the, there is a driveway, a uh, portion of a driveway on one parcel. Um, uh, that they want to move to get it in line with, it, with the parcel where the house is. It's an encroachment on the, uh, an adjoining property. And so they are looking to fix that driveway issue and then asking for uh, an approval of that lot split. So it's a minor issue. Um, however, because um, as David notes here, um, uh, there's no issues with uh, the county health department, it has public sewer. Um, they're clearing up an issue on the transfer sheet and um, uh, what they're trying to do is uh, address that driveway issue, but because of the driveway issue, what they're there, there is a width to depth ratio issue. And so uh, David's requesting that the planning, typically David would be able to prove this without this coming before the planning commission, but because of the width to depth ratio issue, which is consistent across all of the parcels in, on East 4th Street, uh, he's asking for the planning commission to award a variance. Okay. That's it. Any questions? No? A motion? I, I make a motion to uh, approve the lot split uh, uh, with the conditions that the surveyor correct the, uh, uh, the two errors noted that the staff uh, identified the, yep. uh, the in incorrect county um, as well as the, uh, the uh, where the land hook is not correctly uh, uh, connecting lot 646 versus lot 645. But otherwise, uh, I, I uh, make a motion to accept the um, uh, variances, to accept the last vote of the variances. Second. second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it passes. Four. Oh, you won't even have your copy. So. Next item, report from the city plan. Uh, just a few things this afternoon. Um, and I will keep it very brief, but the Planning Commission should be aware that an annexation uh, uh, request may be coming to them in the next 60 days. There's an annexation application uh, moving through the county right now uh, at the uh, on 682 across the street from University Estates on real estate that's typically called the Hope Farm. Uh, there is an applicant looking to develop um, a workforce housing uh, group out of Columbus called WODA, which has done projects in this area in the past. Uh, they're petitioning uh, through the county right now and working through uh, uh, an agreement with LEAC's Water District, hoping to bring that forward to the, to the uh, once it goes through the county, bring it to the city uh, later this year. The Planning Commission's responsibility would be to, uh, desig to uh, recommend a zoning designation for that real estate. I believe the applicant will be asking for a uh, portion of it be, to be d zoned R3, and then the remaining portion to be zoned as uh, general business. So just uh, just for your awareness on that. Uh, more to we follow. have a water property out on East State Street, don't we? We do. Yeah, a development? Yes, correct. Right. Yeah, yeah. And it's been good. I would agree. Yeah, it's yeah. been fine. Yeah, yeah. it worked yeah. fine. Uh, the uh, water did the um, uh, Nelsonville school redesign mm -hmm. and redevelopment yeah. in, uh, on Fayette Street in Nelsonville, both the middle and uh, high school, former middle and high schools. Right. Um, right. And that's, that, that, was a, that was a pretty uh, great project for uh, oh, yeah. the city of Nelsonville. So. 
So. Yeah. Good. So they come to us well recommended. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, let's see. No director of DEF. Um, opportunity for citizens to speak. He's, he's I had two more, but that's oh, all right. I thought you were we really are, brief. I'm we are sorry. To keep I misunderstood brief. brief. You're, you're <laughs> uh, just two other items. The first being is that I, I do expect. Um, uh, if all goes as planned, I will have draft copies of the comprehensive plan for the Planning Commission at our next regular meeting. Uh, I believe that will be the first meeting in February. And uh, as uh, so all are aware, we are having next Thursday evening from 6 to 8 p.m., January 23rd at the Community Center, there is going to be an open house with respect to discussing, um, again, a permanent location for the farmer's market. Uh, as many of you know, we've been looking for several years now at the dog park area. Uh, over the last nine months or so, we started looking um, through discussions and, and getting public feedback and looking at some other issues, uh, uh, discussing an alternative location for a permanent home for the farmer's market in the solar panels area of the community center grounds. There's still a lot of work that would need, need to be done, of course. We're aware of parking and traffic flow issues that would need to be addressed, but um, we are having an open house next Thursday to discuss that in more detail and get public feedback on both locations, the dog park area as well as the solar panels area. It's an open house, so you can come for five minutes or you can stick around for two hours. Your choice, but. Really Very good. Do you have something else? That is all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Opportunity for citizens to speak about items not covered on the agenda. Okay, I don't have to swear them in then. Announcement and other business. We have a meeting scheduled the 6th of February. Having completed all the uh, items on our agenda, we are adjourned.